There are some really great Unity assets out there that can help you get started on making your dream game or if you're already working on one can help you make your games even better. In this video I'll talk about the 10 best Unity assets that I've used. These and many other assets are currently on sale for Black Friday. You can find affiliate links to all of them in the description. Using those really helps me out so thanks so much to those of you who do. In no particular order, Behavior Designer. When I got started in game dev, AI was one of the biggest questions I had. I always had this idea that it was this very complicated subject that would be way too difficult for the likes of a simple indie dev like myself to figure out. Behavior Designer changed that for me. This asset lets you quickly design behaviors for the AI in your game by dragging these tasks into a tree. The UI is great and easy to use and once you get the hang of it you will be able to make really complex or really simple AI systems. There are a bunch of add-on tasks that you can buy but the API is so well made that creating your own tasks is also a breeze. Master Audio Master Audio is my go-to asset for handling music and sound effects in my games. It gives you the ability to create different sound groups that you can then call using their built-in event components which are great for quickly playing sounds. You can chain different sounds to play one after the other which is way quicker than combining clips in external software. You can create playlists for the music in your game and choose which songs play when. The API is fantastic and you can quickly play sounds with one line of code. You can choose to play them at specific positions in the world and it has great support for 3D physics based sounds. The Ultimate Character Controller this asset will have you up and running with a working character in first person or third person in a matter of minutes. It's a lot more than just character control, it has systems to manage your weapons and ammo, your movement abilities, your attack abilities, your character's audio, attributes like health, shield, stamina and a whole lot more. It may seem overwhelming at first but if you spend the time to learn how all of its many systems work together you won't go looking for another character controller and you would have learned enough to write your own if you really wanted to. This is my character controller of choice and the controller behind they come in waves. Please go wishlist it on Steam. Final IK. I've only played around with the demo scene of this asset but I can already tell just how powerful it is. With the ability to dynamically handle inverse kinematics at runtime, the possibilities with this asset are huge. I plan on using it to do dynamic hit registration with my zombie characters and to do correct foot placement. I'll probably also use it to make sure the zombies are looking at their targets whilst moving because right now they run towards you but it kinda seems like they're looking straight past you. Umotion Pro Making animations directly in Unity can be a giant pain, but Umotion Pro makes it so much easier to work with. It has support for inverse kinematics and a constraint system. My favorite use of this asset is definitely the child of constraint, which I make use of a lot for two-handed animations in They Come In Waves. Another really cool feature that I've made use of is the ability to make animation changes at runtime. If you pause your game, you can fiddle with the animation of your characters to perfect them. The ultimate inventory system. Having recently made an inventory system and quickly realizing how much there is to consider, this asset is a freaking beast. Once I switched over to using it for They Come In Waves, I realized just how powerful it is and I'm so glad I took the time to integrate it into my project. It has a UI system that lets you quickly build a database of items that will exist in your world. It has systems for basic inventory, crafting, saving and a UI designer to help you create the perfect inventory for your game. The API is also very well made and I was easily able to extend the current functionality to make it fit well into the scope of my game. Dialogue system. I've only scratched the surface with this dialogue system, but this asset lets you create conversations in your game in a well-structured and very scalable way. It lets you manage quests, cutscenes and localization for your text. It has built-in support for Lua and is integrated with many assets such as the ultimate character controller and ultimate inventory system. It has great systems for getting the state of current quests or updating them as your player progresses through the game. It has a well-defined structure for creating UI and many great video tutorials to help you figure out how to customize everything to your liking. Magic Light Probes This asset has saved me so much time. The thought of manually placing hundreds of light probes all over my scene makes me want to vomit. So being able to just drag these handles out and create volumes which will then just generate a bunch of light probes for me is a huge time saver. There isn't much more to say on this asset, it does what it does and does it well. Damage Numbers Pro This seemingly simple asset has saved me so much time. Yes, you can make your own damage number system, but this asset has so many built-in presets for spawning text pop-ups that I find myself using it everywhere. It might be called damage numbers, but I use it for information pop-ups, messages to tell the player they've crafted weapons, and so much more. Bakery 
Bakery is a GPU light mapper that is highly customizable and is able to produce incredible results when baking lights. It takes advantage of RTX hardware and will have a huge impact on the performance of your bakes. Plan on using this extensively when the time comes to ship my game. Let me know in the comments if you think I missed any assets and if you'd like me to do more detailed reviews on any of the assets I did mention. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.